Hello, good morning, and welcome back to White Mountains Today here on White Mountain TV 16. And joining us in the studio, our now refilled studio with stuff, mm -hmm. Ted and Kim from Border Patrol. How are you guys today? Great. Very well. Well, and uh, I understand you had a great weekend. Yeah, it was very busy this weekend. Everybody's getting geared up for the season. That's terrific. Yeah. Well, you know, we're, it is that time of year, though uh, very warm November. Uh, but uh, that's going to change pretty quick here. We'll get some snow. So Border Patrol, let's talk about that. You guys have been around for a long time. 17 years. And first, first place was in a hotel room on Cow Hill Road. <laughs> and, uh, but you've moved around. You've had some different spots. Yes. And uh, so it's the same Border Patrol that we remember from, from right up there uh, in the Attash Marketplace. Then, of course, in downtown Glen. Then you were uh, at where uh, near the Dunkin' Donuts is now in Glen. And then now you have a new spot right in North Conway. Yep. It's going great. Plenty of uh, area to park and uh, a great location. It's been great for us. So Best how do you location de ever. How do you describe where the location is? Uh, it was right down from the Red Jacket if you're going north on the right-hand side of the road. If you're on the left-hand side of the road going south, it's uh, right after the right next to the Red Roof Inn. All right. Right across the street. Uh, terrific. So it's, yeah. it, I, I know where it is. Because yeah. I've been here. And I know how easy it is to find it. So, uh, and of course, you brought a lot of boards. I imagine this is just a, a, a sampling of what you have in <laughs> right, the show. Right, right. We have quite a bit. I'll have Kim show you the split board, if you like. Well, uh, the new Rage, actually it's been around for quite a long time, is a s split board. And what you do is say you were going up uh, the Sherburn, up Tuckerman's, you would... Kim, if you want, you can sit right there, okay. and then that way we'll get some... Yeah. There we go. You'd actually pull the board apart, and then you got tour skis, tour skis now, uh, and then with your light rail binding, you're in a tour position, and it's all ran off of a cotter pin, so it's extremely easy to go from a tour mode into a snowboard mode. Could you lock that for me up there? My yeah. mic's in there. <laughs> there you go. And you just snap in the, the snowboard that, boot. Slide that on, put your cotter pin back on. You can literally go, be going from a tour mode to a snowboarding mode in under a minute. Wow, that's great. Yes, yes. And here's your avalanche cord in case you just need to get out real quick. Um, we have all the components down at Border Patrol, and we've got Arbor split boards, Rome split boards, uh, Solomon. And, and so these are all, I mean, they look, they, you know, when I first looked at these, I said, okay, that's just a regular snowboard. But uh, then I noticed, you know, there's what it is right is down the middle. Once you go into a, uh, the ski mode, you actually have two edges. So you can make your own split board in the garage, but uh, <laughs> you lose your metal edge, you know, for your inside edge there. Yeah. So it's worth it just to get the right thing, you know. And with this light rail, like I said, you can be, you know, going from a tour mode to snowboarding in under a minute as opposed to using your own snowboard binding and you know using all the uh, screws and yeah. you, you don't want to do that up on the mountain. So I imagine because of the fact that you brought so many of these that this has become a, a pretty popular huge uh, thing huge. going on. Every and snowboarder wants to do it because you don't have to pay a lift ticket. That's the whole thing. It's a free backcountry thing doesn't cost you money, just the initial purchase. Yeah. And of course, here's the skins that attach to the back of the ski. It's very, very sticky. Yeah. Uh, the, the material is probably best described as like a cat's tongue. Yeah. So it gives you traction. And there's no other way to go in the backcountry. Because you're using your gear, you're not carrying it. Right, right. You know? so, and of course, I forgot to mention the... Uh, I don't know where they went, but my poles. <laughs> there you go, the trekking poles. And of course, you have to have your backpack. And it's always handy to carry along your, oh, your shovel. avalanche shovel as well, just in case you get in situations. And everything's super, super light. Yeah. Super light. So as soon as we get some snow, we'll be the first ones on around here to rent them out. It's a big deal. Yeah. We'll be they renting. rent them in Colorado, but 
it's hard to find on the East Coast. Really? So it's, yeah. yeah, it's very, very hard. So now, but uh, so, so I invest in my split board because I'm going to go do backcountry. Right. But then I also want to go skiing in my favorite ski area right. or boarding in my favorite ski right. area. This is the well, same what a lot of people use, right? do when they per when they purchase a split board is go to your. This is what we suggest: go to your favorite mountain, learn the board, don't learn use the it. lift. You know, tour up to where you need to be, practice putting it together in different conditions so you know how to work everything. Yeah. Uh, because it's all about preparation, <laughs> especially in the backcountry. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so it kind of gives you some universality, I guess. Is Absolutely, the yes. That. But it, there's yeah. no problem riding on the slopes. They're they, they, just ride on the slopes just as well as they ride in the backcountry. Okay. So they're yes. rockered now and everything. It's unbelievable. And uh, now this one you pointed out. This is a. Is this the wooden one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Arbor. They're, they're arbors, all real wood. Uh, they're a beautiful board. Just uh, they've been around for 20 years. They're really big in the industry now. Uh, it's a three year warranty. We sell a ton of them. They're just beautiful. Every piece of wood's different because it's all real wood top sheet. Yep. Every board is. Uh, really good for each part of the park or if you're all mountains so you have different types of arbors yeah so this is right here the costa nasta it's shaped a little differently but what it has is it's still rockered so it's real easy to ride so this is what you call an all mountain board pretty beautiful it has the bump outs yeah uh, by the feet makes your foot fit on the board better. Now I notice here also this one has a pointed and uh, so it's not a double-ended board I guess is. It's right. gonna take so you through the glades like butter. Okay. Okay so it's gonna work like uh, like say a snow plow. It's just gonna go over you know uh, wh whatever whatever the mountain throws at you. Yeah. And it's actually twin believe it or not so you can ride that board switch. Oh you can okay. You just so have to get this, over. This uh, is another version of it. Uh, it's called the Shreddy Kruger. It's a pretty beautiful board. It's uh, stained red. Cherry red. And uh, it's the same same rocker style. Yeah. And uh, neat graphics on this one, too. So yeah. It's, uh, Shreddy Kruger. Shreddy Kruger. <laughs> there you go. That's great. I like the, the red on that, too. So that's a neat one. Cherry, yeah. These are your new park boards for for kids unbelievable the nose is cut shorter easier to spin easier to butter with on the bottom it's state of the art and it's all rockered in the center okay just unbelievable in the park probably one of the best park boards you can buy this winter and you can lean it against your bedroom uh, uh, wall and it doesn't slide on the floor <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the most important right, part right there it doesn't go anywhere yeah absolutely <laughs> So that's a cool one, and we'll uh, here we'll just slide that one right up. And that's yep. this is your all mountain park. So it's for that rider that wants to get in the park a little bit, but yet all mountain. So yeah. it's little wider, wider nose as, as well. Stiffer. So it's good for the glades. All mountain, all mountain. Now, of course, the the biggest question you know someone like me has is like, well, I don't have a clue. So you guys have the clue. Yeah, is yes, basically right. it. So if, yes, if I were to right. come in there and say, this is kind of what I want to do, um, you know, I'm a beginner or I'm, a, I'm an experienced, whichever way you want to say it, you guys can steer and them in the right direction. And we ask you that right off the bat. How long have you been riding? Uh, what, did, what is it you want to do? Uh, because if you're not in the park, we don't want to put you in that. We want to put you in this. And nowadays, your foot size very important. You yeah. got your foot has to fit on the board, or it doesn't work. You trip up on your on your feet. So there's a lot of mid wides and regular boards. So you, we ask people what their foot size is automatically. Yeah. You know, it's it's a big deal fitting somebody for a snowboard. You know, and with the arbors as well, uh, the bottom of the board is parabolic. So what that means is the center of the board is higher than the edges. So the bottom base of the board is going like that. So it's going to hold you very stable at high speeds. Okay. Builds confidence and leads for a fun day and uh, everybody wants a fun day. Absolutely. Because it can be rough. <laughs> but if you have the right gear, 
it's a good day. Now, what at what age do people uh, do kids start snowboarding? Three. Three. Okay, so just like uh, we have just a ton like of gear for little kids. We have little boards. Uh, yeah, little, we have we have every every size of board for every 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 size of person and every age. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yes, that's great. Now, uh, so you have all the gear here. Then you have the, so you got the boards, you got the bindings, you got everything you need. You got the skins. Yes. And uh, what else do you have down there, at Border Patrol? You showed me you had we have the a uh, little electric longboard. Electric longboard. Yeah, it goes. Uh, well, we got plenty of Christmas gifts, and this is one of the toys. Yeah. <laughs> and we sell quite a few of these. I don't know if people have seen them around you town. You can put them on your phone app as well. Yeah, but it's a Bluetooth device. But and you could literally go from North Conway to parts of Tamworth, just one charge. Yeah. We, we have a kid uh, that lives down in Silver Lake, and he's gone over 900 miles. Wow. On his. And you could do it with your phone app. Just push backwards to break. My yeah. mic's off. Would you do this? Yep. Yeah. So you just press that and away you go. How fast does it, it go? It goes 13 miles an hour. It goes 18 miles on a charge. When it's going out of flat, let's say a flat road or, or downhill, it recharges that energy. So it probably goes about 20 miles on wow. a charge. It pushes you uphill. You ride it. There's no pumping. Yeah. You don't have to push your foot. It's it's pretty awesome. So the, this the, is not a QVC toy. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the people it, that are buying that uh, this are using it as a form of transportation. Yep. Uh, people down in Boston are riding them from the parking garage to their office. Um, it's, so this is the brake. Oh, I and see. And that's yeah. the gas. Oh, that's awesome. And so if you go down a really steep hill. You can break, so you can go as fast and slow as you want. That's the genius of it. Yeah, you know, it's it's really good for people who don't want to pump, or you know, older people that just want to cruise, and kids who want to travel. Yeah, they're amazing. You'll see a lot more of these in the future. That's great. So all this is located right there at Border Patrol. So what are your hours and down more. there? <laughs> well, in the winter, from uh, eight to six. Okay. Mm -hmm. And on the weekends, we're open till seven. All right, great. And uh, so right there, we're showing the uh, the ad right there. So you yes. can swing on down we, to Border Patrol. Uh, and we and have skis, out. I, I might, <coughs> oh, might add. We, we do uh, cater to the skiers as well. So great. A great Austrian ski fisher. And that's what you need. Yeah. Yes. Good yes. stuff. Well, that's true. Well, thanks so much for coming by today and, and showing this. this stuff. I've learned, I've learned a lot more than yeah. I uh, knew about snowboards before. <laughs> um, so located right in the heart of North Conway, Border Patrol. Do you guys Next have a door to Headlines, uh, across the street from the Old Red Inn. Yeah. Terrific. Yes. Yeah, our, uh, we have a Facebook page. Facebook page, okay. But you got to spell it right, B-O-A-R-D, like a board, yep. or you'll get the Border Patrol from <laughs> Northern New Hampshire. Oh, okay. That's a board, B-O-A-R-D, patrol. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks so much for coming by today, okay. and I hope we'll see you again here real soon. Oh, we'll be yes. back. <laughs> and we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.